Hello and welcome back from Create and Fly. Today I'm going to be looking at my WestJet 1 to 400 scale collection, models that I've acquired over the past few years. There's a couple of new ones in here, um, but I just want to do a general overview of what I currently have in my collection. There's a couple missing, such as the Saab and also the Max 8 uh, that Gemini Jets released um, in the previous WestJet livery. So on to the first model, this is NG Models, Boeing 737-600, registration CGWJU. NG did release another version of this, CGWSJ, and that had a slightly different logo on the fuselage. Uh, this, uh, for some reason, the photo that I've taken of this makes the model look really weathered and dirty. And I don't know why that is, could be something to do with my camera, uh, but nonetheless, uh, a beautiful model. Um, in real life, WestJet don't fly these anymore. Um, Aeroflyer have taken some of them on, and uh, in my local airport here in Canada, I do see this very same aircraft, CGKFP, regularly. Next, a real workhorse for WestJet. This is the NG Boeing 737-700, registration CGCWJ. Uh, NG did release this um, a year or so prior to this one, um, and that was CGWSO. Uh, this is a recent model for me, this came the other day, and I'm really, really happy uh, with this in the collection. The details are fantastic. Again, this, weather, this model looks really weathered. Uh, I need to sort my camera out. Um, and then on to um, the beautiful Panda models release, of uh, the WestJet 737-700, and this is in the latest livery. Uh, that WestJet currently use. This registration is CGWJO, and uh, I'm really, really pleased with the quality of this Panda. Although, um, when you, obviously when you're looking at it um, normally, you don't tend to spot things, but when you zoom in on it on photos such as this, you really do see things like that back door there is slightly on an angle, and there's certain little things that you start to pick up on uh, which you normally wouldn't see with the naked eye. Um, I have actually flown on one of these 737-700s in the new livery. Uh, this one was CGWJG, and this flew me from uh, Calgary to Regina, and uh, we actually got up to 41,000 feet, even though it was only a 50-minute uh, flight. So yeah, fantastic release from Panda Models. Um, highly recommend this, although I'm pretty sure it's sold out. Uh, this was a Prairie uh, Models exclusive here in Canada. Um, so I'm really, really pleased that I've got this. Um, I just hope that um, we see other WestJet models uh, come through the system now. I'm hoping that Gemini will release some more in the new livery and also hopefully uh, NG will too. Staying with the latest WestJet livery, this is the Gemini Jets release of the Boeing 737 Max 8. Uh, this was released a few years ago now, and I'm actually so pleased that I got it because I don't think uh, you're gonna be able to find this anymore unless you see something on eBay, but uh, I'm really glad I've still got this. Um, a few temperamental issues with the landing gear at first, but I've managed to sort them out and free them a bit more better. Um, but this is a, a fantastic release. On to, uh, back to NG models, and this is the first 737-800 with regular winglets that they released. Um, and this is the Reg CGJLS. Um, this is, uh, again, not something you see these days. Majority of WestJet 737 NGs have got the scimitar winglets, uh, such as this release here, CGJLZ. Fantastic, they've done a really nice job of this with the scimitars. And um, again, these models are looking really grubby, aren't they? But um, trust me, it is my camera, and I do look after my models, and uh, this is definitely uh, a beauty in the collection. Another Boeing 737-800NG with scimitars. This was released at the same time as the previous model. And um, this has got the Reg CGAWS, uh, but this time it features the number 100 Boeing 737NG uh, that was delivered. So fantastic release. 
And then moving on to the big girl, the big boy, the uh, Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner. Um, this is a fantastic release and a must-have. I have probably flown back and forth to London and Canada quite a lot. And I actually worked out the other day that I have actually been on all seven um, Dreamliners that WestJet own. Uh, this one is C-G-U-D-H. Um, but I have flown on the, all the other six as well. Um, so that's something I can tick off my list. But this is a fantastic release. I know that NG also released uh, C GURP. That's C G U R P. Um, that's a model I'd like to get, but I rarely see that listed on eBay or anywhere else. So hopefully I'll find that one day. And maybe we'll see um, more releases um, of the Dreamline as well. I know that Phoenix released one. Um, which is this model here uh, and also NG. So, um, yes, so thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon.